This is going to be your general love reading for the month of November. Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. I hope that you're doing well. So whenever you find this reading, Leo, it's for you. Just so you know, it's timeless. But we will be focusing on the energy of right now and also the energy of November. Um, I guess we can just dive right in. Need to move some of these cards out of the way because I don't have a place to shuffle. You know what? Let me make some space over here. Actually, let me go ahead and clear um, the energy in the room with my sound bell. And I just saved yesterday, so we're good. One second. All right. Let's dive right in, Leo. What does Leo need to know about the person on their mind? The person... Mm, on Leo's mind, the person that's in Leo's energy field. What does Leo need to know about the person on their mind? The person that's in their energy field. Ready now for Leo. I decided to switch tarot decks halfway through. Um, I started out, I did all of, I did Aries, Taurus, Gemini Cancer with a different tarot deck and for some reason I felt guided to switch for the next reads coming up to my mermaid or not mermaid um oh gosh yeah it's a mermaid tarot Leo let's see that's what's it called it's called oceanic tarot why is my camera look booty right now. Hold on, let me fix it. What's going on? Huh. Fix that. Must have bumped it. She's just getting ready to start reading and then got distracted. Alright, what do we need to know about Leo's person on their mind? The person that is in their energy field right now. What do we got for Leo? Wow, Leo, we're starting out very strong. We have the Ace of Cups. See this, Leo? Let me see. One second. Oh, goodness. So many distractions. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. All right, so we're starting out really strong. We have the Ace of Cups, which is love. So this is love. It's It could be a possible new relationship for you, Leo. Or the person on your mind is coming back. That card just flew out. Um, hold on. I really have to adjust this camera. It's driving me nuts. Okay. I'm sorry, Leo. I have no idea why there is such a glare on this card, on these cards. And there it is. A lot of glare. I was trying to adjust it, but. All right, what else do we have for Leo? Two of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> so this is the card of options. It's the card of balancing out your energy as well. It's the card of manifestation. So you do have love coming in, Leo. All right? I don't know if it's with the person that was is on your mind or if this is a new relationship because Ace of Cups represents a new relationship. And then we have Two of Pentacles and it literally says options right there. Can you see? It says, can you read that? It says options. But the Two of Pentacles is about manifesting. So it's possible, Leo, that you have been trying to manifest someone in your life it could be a certain someone or you know you could have just been trying to manifest your your person right oh lord have mercy your cards are flying out leo what beautiful energy what is this on my oh it's part of my tourmaline it's coming off all right so we have ten of wands responsibility 
So some of you Leos are feeling like you're a little bit way too busy for love. <laughs> That's too bad, Leo. Too bad. All right. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. You know what? Yeah, let's tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. Is this a new relationship or... Someone from the past. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. This deck is really hard to shuffle. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Lovers. It says Choices. Wow. So this is the second time, Leo, that you've got something about options or choices. I don't think we're talking about just one option, Leo. This could be multiple people that are trying to get to Leo. <laughs> Leo, you are on fire. Like, people are just... There's this energy of, like, everybody just throwing themselves at you. You literally have two cards that say, this one says options, this one says choices. You're going to have your pick and choose. This whole Ace of Cups... If you've been trying to manifest a specific someone, I feel like eventually, yes, that person may come forward, but you're going to be able to have your pick and choose. You're going to be able to pick whoever you want. Look, on the bottom of the deck, we have hope. Oh my gosh. And then we have seven of cups, the card of options again. See, Leo, you're still holding out hope for this one person, right? That you've been trying to manifest. But you're going to have so many choices. Look at You have the Seven of Cups, which is, again, the card of options. That's three times. You are a very hot commodity right now. Oh, I'm going to call your reading that a hot commodity. All right. Tell us more about this connection or connections. What else does Leo need to know? Why don't you tell Leo the best option? How about that? Should we go from there? I don't even know what to do. There's so many options, Leo, for you. Oh, gosh. So many cards flipped out. Oh, look it. See? Oh, two cards. I was, I was shuffling and two cards flipped out. We have Knight of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. So you're going to have one option who's younger than you and another option who is going to be right around your age, Leo. One says loyalty and the other one says trust. So they're both really good options. Oh, Lord, Leo. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. You know what? I'm going to pull, let's see. Ooh, my kids are out there fighting. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull a card for each of this, each of these, each of this connection. I'm going to use a different deck though. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to pull a card about both of these options and see what is the best option for you, Leo. All right. Tell us about the Knight of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Tell us about the Knight of Pentacles for Leo. What does Leo need to know about this Knight of Pentacles? It's very rare that you get this many, you know, the two energies come up like this as an option. Although I do feel like you'll, you'll have more. These are just the two that came up. So tell us, please, about the Knight of Pentacles. So usually when this happens, I try to give clarification for you know, for you guys. All right. What do we have for the Knight of Pentacles? What does Leo need to know about this Knight of Pentacles in order to make an informed decision about this in their love life? Tell us about the Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Leo. What does the beautiful fiery signs Leo need to know about the Knight of Pentacles, please, besides the fact that this person is loyal? Queen of Cups. 
So this person is maybe a little bit more on the feminine side. They're very open. Not only are they loyal, but they're very open and they're willing to flow with you emotion wise. Okay. All right. I'm going to put it back in just in case it comes out again for the other one. Tell me about the king of pentacles. Yeah, so the Knight of Pentacles is very in touch with um, his or hers emotions. Ooh, goodness gracious. That card flew out quickly for the King of Pentacles. Wow, the King of Pentacles. We have the lovers. So this King of Pentacles, the thing about this King of Pentacles, Leo, is you feel like this one is your person. You have a very strong soul connection with this person. Though the Knight of Pentacles is showing up as someone who's open and loving and sort of um, matches your energy of being loving and open, they do have a big heart just like you. You definitely feel a strong um, spiritual connection to this King of Pentacles. Okay? They're coming up as the lovers. <clears throat> and number six is the number of spiritual connection. It feels like for you, you feel like the king of pentacles is your, your twin flame or your soulmate. All right. So we're going to move on from that, Leo. Um, let's see what the romance angels have to say for you. Okay. What else does our beautiful fiery Leo signs need to know? What else does Leo need to know about this connection or connections? I don't even know what to do because, you know, ultimately it's going to be up to you, Leo, which connection you choose, right? Oof. Soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So one of these is definitely a soulmate, okay? One of these options. Don't know which one. What else do we have for Leo? Let's get two more cards, please, Spirit. What else does our beautiful fiery Leo signs need to know? What else does Leo need to know, please? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So again, there's this energy of, it could literally, like in the 3D, be someone from your past, like a past lover. Or it doesn't even necessarily have to be a lover, Leo. It could be someone that maybe you cross paths with before in your past but you never had a relationship with them or it very well could be an ex-lover okay so you're going to have to use that discernment if they're coming in with the right energy um you know i i'm sorry but i'm a leo and personally i would never date one of my exes i just wouldn't like there's nobody from my past that i would ever see that way ever again and it's nothing personal. It's just that once a Leo moves forward, we don't like to look backwards. I, I don't think I've ever taken one of my exes back ever. Maybe when I think the last time I ever took an ex back was when I was a teenager. <laughs> that's how long that's how long ago it was. Like, I think I was like 15 or something. Right. And ever since then, I, I've never taken an ex back. I've never looked back. So, you know, if you're like me, like, I feel like a lot of Leos are, you know, are the same. And that's why that's what makes us Leos, right? We're fire signs. So, you know, for a lot of you, like, I don't feel like this is a lover from your past that you're going to take back. F to me, this feels Leo like this is a past life connection. You guys recognize when you see, when you feel or see each other, when you guys connect if you recognize there's an instant soul recognition like you know this person's soul because you've had soul recognition you remember them from your past lives you guys have been lovers in different lifetimes right what is the last card for leo i just don't see any leo taking someone back from their past it's just not a leo trait i mean to each their own but all right, what else do we have for Leo? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So when this person comes in, Leo, 
They want you to give them a chance. I, I understand that, you know, as Leos, sometimes we um, have a tendency to just write everybody off as like, no, they're not on my level. It was just 1515 on my camera. Um, you know what I mean? Like Leos are pretty confident. Um, not all of us are, you know, up to par with our self-love. Everyone has their own shadows and such. But for the most part, Leos are pretty confident and they know what they deserve. And so remember to um, sort of humble yourself when these options come in and remember to go into these with an open mind and open heart. My kids are driving me crazy today. One second. Okay, so... Sorry about that, Leo. Um, remember to work on your cooperation and your partnership skills, okay? Don't write everybody off as, you know, just don't write everybody off. <laughs> Try to keep an open mind. It was just 1616. So see, we're making progress, Leo. All right, I'm going to pull from my spirit deck. I don't know what's going to come up here. Because this is just a, a deck that I wrote random messages on. So, what else do we have for our beautiful Leos, please? What else do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Leo, what do we have for Leo? We have authentic Leo. Look at that, authentic. So your person is authentic or the fact that you're being authentic is drawing in authentic energy, Leo. Right? Ooh, Leo, look at that. We have seduction. Ooh, very nice. So it looks like Leo is in for some fun, Leo. You are in for some fun. Ooh, this person really wants you. One or the other, all of a sudden I just got really flushed and hot, which tells me that this person is feeling very strong desire for you, Leo. They're, you know what, and they're, they're really um, honest about it. They're going to be, when they come in, it's going to be with a very authentic, honest approach. Leo, you are on fire, you know that? We have gray eyes. I'll do one more and we have Libra Oof, Libra all right Leo you are I don't know what else to say you're on fire I feel like you're a super hot commodity right now your person might have gray eyes um, and then we have Libra energy so take that how it resonates gray eyes is like a very very rare type of eye color that's that's crazy <laughs> you know like i don't think i know anyone who has gray eyes i know that it's a real eye color but beautiful how beautiful all right what else does our leos need to know this reading is getting way too long already what else do our beautiful leos need to know thank you for allowing me to be the pure channel for leos all right my beautiful leos what do we got I think this month you guys are going to get a bonus read, okay? It's either going to be in this month or next month that I will do the bonus read because you guys got the most views for my shorts video. You know, and you guys earn bonus reads. What do we got for Leo? Two cards for Leo. We have number 27. Can you see that, Leo? 27, help from above. And, ooh, so this is a divinely guided connection. The moon is showing me, Leo, that whatever's hidden, you know, in the in these connections is going to come to light. Someone has a secret, Leo. What it is, I don't know. Your person could um, have something to do with music. She's holding a harp. We have 20 family and tribe. So if you haven't met your person... You will probably meet them through your soul tribe, right? <clears throat> or it could be at like a family gathering, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like you're going to meet this person through your soul tribe. 
um, possibly through like your spiritual soul tribe. Number 20, family and tribe is number 20. So, you know, it's just, it's the number two, which shows me that, you know, you and your person have, you're, you've been doing a really, really great job, Leo, of balancing out your energy. I feel like that's why so many people have been drawn to you lately is because you're really learning how to stabilize your energy and send out such beautiful, great vibes. All right. Help from above. Like I said, this relationship is divinely guided. It's div it's divine. <laughs> I can't talk. It is guided by the divine and also from your angelic team. You, you know, one of these connections, you're meant to be with this person. Okay. And the 27, 7 and 2 added up, it's 9. So 9 is the number of abundance. One of these connections is going to unlock your abundance. I feel like you're going to maybe collab with someone. Or maybe like you and this person share like a soul purpose. You know what I mean? This tiger keeps standing out as well. All right, we're going to move on from that. Um, let's do the love oracle and then we're going to pull an Akashic card for you and be done, Leo. All right, so if something resonates, please um, go ahead and comment down below. You know, it's completely free to comment, like, and subscribe. It's also free to do that. Share with all your Leo friends. And if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below my video. What else do we have for the beautiful fire sign, Leo? All right, Leo. Woo, that one flew out. So we have toxic relationship. One or both of you are coming out of a toxic relationship, right? You're getting rid of a relationship from the past that it doesn't feel like you're recently getting rid of it. It feels like, you know, maybe in the past, either you or your person has dealt with like a toxic relationship, right? There might have been some emotional or physical abuse. They could have been, you know, some infidelity. And because you went through these relationships, Leo, you understand the importance of a healthy relationship. I think because you've done so much work on yourself and you realize what an unhealthy relationship looks like, you're ready and you've prepared yourself for a healthy relationship. You know what an unhealthy relationship looks like. Look at that. I was just saying you understand what an unhealthy relationship looks like. You've taken the time to heal yourself and it's because you've healed yourself that you're ready to move on to a healthy relationship. I just said that. Holy crap. I am good at my job. All right. What's the final card for Leo for this connection or connections? Regret. Wow. Look at that. Someone is definitely in their feels over you, Leo. <laughs> they are driving themselves to drink, to, I don't know, um, Maybe they're using substances, um, drugs. It could be, um, it's showing alcohol, but they're numbing the pain away to try to forget Leo. Of course they are, Leo. You are so amazing. So, um, you know, it, it even could be they're trying to numb the pain out. One of, one of these, these people that is in the connection with you. I know you had two energies that showed up, the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. One of them is really feeling um, in some type of way. They may even be taking like psychedelics or something um, to try to make themselves feel something. They regret not coming forward or not making an offer sooner or something like that, Leo. It's coming across as like, there's a lot of sleepless nights that they've been experiencing. They're feeling very empty. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pull one, one Akashic card for you and see what spirit wants you to know. The last thing they want you to know about this connection, Leo. And then we're going to be done. What else does Leo need to know about 
these possible connections. Good luck on making your choice, Leo. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to be an easy choice. <laughs> Honestly. Hmm. It's a great day to be a Leo, but also it's not because, you know, you're going to have a, quite a choice to make. What is the final card for Leo? Release and let go. Number 30. So three is the number of the Ascended Masters. It's the number of surrender and trusting. And it's ironic because Spirit is asking you to release and let go. Allow yourself to go through the transformation that you are going through. And I know it's been rough and heavy and hard. But yet, Leo, you have came out of it so beautifully. And uh, just continue to allow yourself to surrender and trust in the divine release and let go that means surrender surrender any outcome and allow yourself to just be all right leah i hope you enjoyed this reading if anything resonated like i said please like and subscribe share with all your leo friends so that my message can be um, felt and heard far and wide i love you leo bye